Today I'm going to share with you guys my simple routines for a healthful kitchen and help you guys start your week off on a healthy note. Every week I like to take an hour or two to refresh the kitchen through simple routines that way my space feels clean, stocked with nourishing foods, and overall just to start the week off on a healthy note and create an inviting space that makes me want to cook and eat at home this week. I'll start by doing the dishes and getting them washed and put away and then I like to clean off the counters and wipe down the appliances and then I'll water my plants and my plants just bring my kitchen to life and they also work as air purifiers. I'm really inspired by the European way of life and one thing I appreciate about it is how there are always plants everywhere so every nook and corner seems to be a special place when there's greenery or flowers there so I like to have elements of that in my kitchen. On the weeks I skip this or don't prioritize creating an intentional environment in my kitchen, I find my family tends to eat out more on those weeks. Or if I'm behind on dishes, I tend to want to cook less. And if I don't get around to cleaning the fridge out, it makes it less inspiring to prepare our food. I will play peaceful music or just put on a podcast or even a YouTube video that I find relaxing or encouraging and take this time as an internal refresh as well. It's kind of like a form of self-care for me, but it's not just for me, but also for my husband and children. I think we all equally benefit when I spend this time in my kitchen. When it's warm outside, I like to start by opening up my kitchen window and maybe make a vase of flowers for my garden or the farmer's market. But on the cold months, I'll simply just light a candle and I'll look out over my frosted garden and kind of envision my plans for the next garden season. I like to clean out the fridge and dispose of anything old or that's gone bad and just kind of organize what's already there and help us see what needs to be eaten and what needs to be thrown out and then I'll just spray it down with a little bit of natural cleaner and once that's done then I feel like I'm ready to think about what we need to restock our fridge and then I'll make my grocery list and kind of go from there. to clean out the fridge and dispose of anything that's old or that's gone bad and then I'll kind of take the leftovers that we have that need to be eaten up really soon and I'll kind of consolidate it and put it all in one little area of the fridge that way we can easily remember that it needs to be eaten before it goes bad and then I also like to lay down little tea towels or cloths on my shelves because our shelves tend to get really dirty we've got four little kids in the house and when they're the three older ones at least when they reach into the fridge to get things out they're spilled all the time so I actually prefer prefer to have like a little tea towel in there so I can just take that out and throw it in the wash and not have to worry about just scrubbing down my shelves all the time. So now that that is all done, now I'm going to go get my groceries and this will last us for the next week or at least the next few days. It depends on how much we eat that week. I usually buy enough groceries to get us through at least the next couple days. Alright, so if you're new here, we are a family of six and I have four little kids and then my husband and we eat a mostly whole foods diet or at least foods that are minimal ingredients. So I like to try to stick to foods that are like five ingredients or less and minimally processed if I can. We do not have a perfect diet, so just throw that out the window right now because this is not what this is about. But we try to eat as clean, as healthy, as fresh as we can. I love local, I love farmer's market, but I still get lots of things from the grocery store, especially this 
time of year in the winter. So I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of what I got today. This is kind of like just a smaller grocery shop and I'll probably go back later on this week and get more things. So it's actually important to feed your gut different kinds of foods, different kinds of vegetables, and it makes for a really healthy gut environment. So I try to switch it up and it also helps to keep things interesting, of course. So let me just talk you really quickly through what I got. So the first thing that we got is some pasture bird I can't say that. The first thing that we got is some pasture bird chicken thighs. I love to cook these and I'll make them with this coconut aminos tangy barbecue sauce. I like to bake these together and I'll probably share that recipe soon because it's one of the best chicken recipes I've ever tried. It's so good. And then I also got, let's see, where should we go next? Dressing. I picked up this green goddess dressing. I've never had it before, but I thought I'd give it a try because I love this um, brand, Gotham Greens. I also got some hummus and I'll eat this either just with carrots or peppers or I'll mix it with a little bit of apple cider vinegar, water, lemon, whatever, olive oil even, and I'll use it as a salad dressing. So I'll just kind of thin out my hummus and then you can use that on a salad and it's really delicious. Coconut yogurt, I have been loving this coconut yogurt. It is so delicious and rich and it's low in protein, which I don't love, but it's extremely high in fat and low in sugar, which I love. It's organic coconuts, spring water, cassava root, which is like coconut basically, and probiotic cultures. So if you're dairy free, I highly recommend trying this out. It is a delicious yogurt. I'll have it a couple times a week with some berries and I love it. And then I also like my dairy yogurt. So I get the Nancy's 100% grass fed. This is not the Greek one. This is just the regular whole milk one and it's delicious. My kids love it too. And of course you can never have too much butter. I also picked up some coconut milk and some coconut cream. I got some of my favorite chocolate chips. So you guys know I love the Hue brand if you've seen some of my other videos. And these are my favorite chocolate chips. So there are no sugar added, but I like them better than some of the other brands that have maltodextrin. And maltodextrin is a big no-no in my book. I love these. They have no added sugar, no refined sugar, no sugar alcohols, no stevia, no dairy, no palm oil, no soy lecithin, cow organic date organic cocoa butter and organic vanilla so it's super simple ingredients which I absolutely love and they are so delicious and I actually end up putting these either with my coconut yogurt or um, like chia seed pudding so I'll show you guys that later those are delicious livered almonds just in bulk here and some dried cherries just in bulk as well these are just like a little treat we love to snack on stuff like that and then let's see what up okay cucumber obviously we need cucumber for salads some romaine lettuce um, this isn't typically what I buy but they are out of the one that I normally buy so I just picked up this and that'll work just fine organic grape tomatoes some organic broccolini, two bell peppers, and this is an example of something that I would switch up weekly. So I would do yellow this week, red next week, diversifying our nutrients. I got yellow, which I like. They're super high in vitamin C, which is perfect for the winter. And then I got two carrots. I'm not really sure why I just got two. Garlic. I've been loving my sweet potatoes recently. They're at the peak of freshness. They're so sweet and delicious, and I'll roast them up. I'll have them for breakfast, fry them up like sweet potato fries, and eat them with a little bit of no sugar added ketchup. I love that. And so do my kids, of course. We all love like homemade fries, especially in the air fryer. And then frozen strawberries that are melting currently. So I'm gonna go put this in the freezer. Okay, and then of course, just berries. I love blueberries and blackberries. Those are my favorite. I find that those are the ones that go bad the least often. I feel like every time I buy raspberries, they tend to go moldy on me. So I kind of just stick to these two. And then of course, I always pick up some organic milk, either organic or pasture raised, grass fed anything like that and then i also picked up some of these sumo oranges which are in season and these are the best they're so sweet so that's our grocery haul this week let's get this put away in the fridge
prepare a couple of things in advance to keep in the fridge. That way I feel like there's something that's already cooked or made and it's kind of just ready to go. Just make sure that throughout the week I'm set up to eat the healthy things that I want to be eating and I won't have to go through the hassle of making it right then when I already need it. It'll already be made in advance and I feel like this just really helps you stick with the goals that you have for yourself and what you want to be nourishing your body with. So my sort of light meal prep will change weekly as I'm sure that yours will as well but I'm going to be making some almond milk like I said and a chia seed pudding and then just preparing some of my vegetables that I'm going to use in a salad this week. Just quick food to have on hand that's super healthy and also making things that are kind of multi-purpose so like with the chia seed pudding I could have that for a breakfast for a snack or even with it as a dessert because it's going to have delicious toppings that really satisfy that sweet tooth but it's full of good fats and fiber and protein. So having things like that on hand that you can kind of swap in and out or having a bunch of chicken prepped and in the fridge that you can add to different meals and dishes. You can have it in salads or pastas with rice. I love having things like that in my fridge. So it's kind of like my hot bar. I've talked about that before and it just makes everything so much more practical. I'm all about being practical. I know a lot of us have busy lives and it's important to make healthy eating easy. So while my veggies are soaking in the apple cider vinegar water I'm gonna go ahead and prepare my almond milk and my chia seed pudding So to make my homemade almond milk, I start by soaking my almonds overnight in some water with a little pinch of salt. And then the next day I will just drain them and rinse them. And then I'll add the almonds into my Nutribullet with some fresh filtered water and I'll blend that up. And then I will pour it into this little almond milk maker, which is basically just like a little fine mesh sieve, but it makes it so easy and hands off to make almond milk. You just pour it in and it will sit there on the counter for about 20 minutes and drain through. While the almond milk is draining, I'm going to get started on my chia seed pudding. And this can be made with any milk, but today I'm using coconut milk just because I love the taste of coconut and it reminds me of the coconut yogurt that I've been loving lately. So I'm making that with just a dash of maple syrup. The important part of making chia seed pudding is that you want to whisk it together and then let it sit on the counter for about five minutes and whisk it again. That way you're redistributing all of the chia seeds and you don't get any clumpy bits, but it's just really nice and smooth consistency consistency. And then the toppings are my favorite part of this chia seed pudding. I like to put some of the Hue no sugar added dark chocolate chips, a little bit of dried cherries, blackberries, and some slivered almonds that just add a nice crunch. Appalachian sunrise my skin even with my eyes still next I'm just starting out by chopping up my vegetables that have been washed and cleaned and I'm taking a yellow bell pepper and slicing it really thinly and then I'm adding these little toppings into a dish that I'm going to use for my salads this week the next thing I'm chopping up are some cucumbers and one of my favorite tricks to eat more vegetables is to take one vegetable and chop it two different ways. So you could have it dipped in hummus or you could have it as a topping to throw on a salad or a bowl. My favorite way to include carrots in a salad is to start by peeling the carrot and then after I've peeled the outer layer of skin off, then I will go in with the same peeler and just start making little strips and this makes really fine carrot strips that are a delicious texture to add to your salads. I hope my simple routine inspired you guys to create a more healthful kitchen. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you're having a great week so far. If you like this video, please give it a like, share this video with someone you know who will appreciate it. And if you want even more inspiration for a healthy week, you can watch this video next where I'm simply cooking with what I have.